Hello, y'all. Hello. Let me play some music. 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 Audio jungle. Music. Audio jungle. I hope y'all are having a good Wednesday so far. Yes, it's Frobot. Frobot, Frobot. It's always good to see Frobot. Alright, let me... Get this started up. Hopefully it's not too loud, but we can always, uh... Always fix that. Cooking ramen? Ooh. What kind of ramen? What kind of ramen you making? Oh, now it just sounds like a bunch of mush over here. Okay, I'm trying to connect my controller. But for some reason... I just connected it before, but for some reason my computer does not want to reconnect to it. Bluetooth? Beef flavored ramen gonna add sriracha? Ooh, for a nice little spicy kick. I hope that turns out well. I, um... I had a little bit of leftovers for dinner. I haven't had, like, a proper, proper dinner yet. I sh I'll probably have that after stream. But I also had a little bit of cake, because, um... Cake? Cake on cake day. Um... Because my roommate roommate's father's birthday was recently, so... She brought home, like, the cake that they had. And there was, like, a lot left, so... We've just been... Me and my other roommates have just been like chipping away at the cake slowly. Also, is the is the volume okay for y'all? Is it all right? All right, I think got the c controller connected. Is it working? Okay. Also, just a heads up, my um my thumb has been aching a little bit. I think I mentioned it on Saturday. Uh, it's been feeling better today, but if it starts acting up. Um, I might, like, stop early. Or, or, uh, start playing without a controller and, um, doing touchscreen, because this game can be played with touchscreen, too. But some, uh, some controls... Oh, okay, it could be a little bit lower. I'll, I'll lower it then. Um, some of the touchscreen controls... Um, they can't do any- everything? They can't do everything. Let me see. Where's the volume control? Where's the volume control? Sound settings. Okay. Put it down, uh, maybe 35? Oh, well, maybe a little bit higher. 37. Okay, how does that sound? That sound alright? But, um, yeah. Um... You can't do everything with the touchscreen controls. Like, you can't use spells um, with the touchscreen. You have to press the X or Y button um, on the controller, which kind of sucks, but oh well. At least the DS... DS games are a lot better about making things, like, touchscreen accessible, touchscreen friendly, as opposed to, like, Switch games that just... A lot of games just don't include touchscreen touch functionality at all. Thank you. So I was, uh, I played through a few days on my own just so I could, like, get some requests done, get some farming done. Look, I'm, I'm already playing with the touchscreen. I'm not even playing with my controller. <laughs> oh my god, that, that little beep that y'all heard, that that's my work computer. I don't know why it's still on. Why is my work computer still on? I closed it. Okay, one second. I'm gonna bump it a little bit and turn off my work computer. <sighs> If you guys heard a little beep. Okay. <laughs> what is it about Rune Factory that you don't stall? Well, it probably helps that um, I use a reactive PNG, and I don't usually like to use them on my just chatting screen, just because, especially the Frobot ones, look kind of awkward there. Um, especially like the, the more detailed Frobot one. So I just kind of start off on this screen, and since we're on the screen already, um, I just start playing. <laughs> but I've, I've, um, I 
I've stalled with with Rune Factory before. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you remember that time that we were like, um, God, I wish there was an online Picto chat, and then there was an online Picto chat, and then <laughs> we just did online Picto chat for a while. I was actually uploading uh, some of the YouTube vods. Uh, some of the VODs onto YouTube, and I started uploading the VODs from earlier this year, which was when we started playing Moon Factory. Um, and I saw that VOD where we were just like playing on online uh, Picto Chat, and that was fun. I feel like it's been a bit since you last stalled on Moon Factory. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think maybe it's a combination of starting on the gameplay screen and plus, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, re I really don't know. Oh god, my voice is cracking. I have a feeling my voice is gonna drop soon. Maybe? Because my voice has been cracking a lot. Stalling? Oh, like, like, um, just chatting a lot before we actually start the game. I tend to do that. But apparently I don't do it with Rune Factory. Maybe it's because I just can... With Rune Factory, I can just kind of start it and start chatting, too. Plus, I really like Rune Factory. Not that I stall with games I don't like, but I don't know. It also has to do with a combination of, like, who's here at the moment, like... I don't know, how much conversation we can have before I start playing the game. Which I guess isn't really a personal thing, but... It's like, oh, if we start talking about something, like... Really in-depth before I start playing the game, then that kind of sidetracks me. Probably the whole, I got this many things to do burning daylight. Yeah, I'm like, I gotta do this and this and this and this and this. In Rune Factory, and I gotta make sure I don't forget. I remember in my physical copy of the game, I... I inspected this sign, and it just fucking crashed my game. Like, apparently there's a bug. I, I've never been able to reproduce it, but... Every time I check the sign, now I'm just kind of scared that it's going to crash my game. Monster sign, please have mercy. <laughs> I hope y'all have had a, a good Wednesday so far. Um, my Wednesday's been all right. Today's the flower festival. Yes, it is. We get to take some of the, the other kids on a date. Well, more like a play date, I guess. You, you look well this morning, little human. The flower festival is today. What's the point of that anyway? Can't you look at flowers any day? I don't understand you, humans. Uh, he's in a good mood, as always. It's been good as Abel? Yeah, good. I'm glad. I, um, I've been dealing with, like, sleep troubles lately, so, like, sometimes I take a half day from work to catch up on sleep, because I, I, like, start the day and I'm just, like, I'm fucking dead. I can't do work like this. Hello. Morning. Morning. Today's the flower festival, Frongu. The cherry blossoms are pretty, aren't they? They're so pretty. I want to go look at them with you, Frongu. Uh, okay. Let's go to Alvarna Academy. That's the best spot. Yay! You go on ahead to Alvarna Academy, okay? We'll be there in a bit. Isn't that... That's where we are. We're inside the academy. We're supposed to meet here. All of a sudden, they teleport outside of the academy. <laughs> They're fucking, um... I don't know. They're fucking ghosts. Are, are, are they some kind of, like, multiverse Spider-Man? Hey, Frongu, did we make you wait? 
You weren't waiting for us, were we or you? Let's go under the cherry tree. Yeah. Let's go. Repeat. Repeat. <laughs> I hope you start having good rest soon. I should, because the main reason I'm not having good rest is because of Draken. Um, um, among other things, like, it's just hard for me to, like, fall asleep. Initially. But then I keep getting woken up in the middle of the night, like, every two or three hours. And... It's just... Ah! So, Draken's going on a, a business trip next week, so I should have a week of good rest, hopefully. <laughs> uh, hopefully it should be like that. Yeah, repeat! It's so pretty! Yeah, it is. It really is. This is kind of like a date, isn't it? Haha. <laughs> it's fun when the three of us go on a date. Yeah, it is. Well, we should get going now. I don't want to go home yet, but I know Mom's worrying about us. Yeah, we should get going. Thanks for hang asking us out today. I had fun. Me too. Yeah, me too. Well, see you later. Yeah, we just kind of like sit there and look at it for like half a second and we're like, okay, that was a good... Good flower festival. We can't ask the boys out on a date. Good morning. Ah! Good morning. What about you, Frongu? Do you like the cherry blossoms? Good morning. Leanne, the flower festival. I don't want to go alone. I'd much, I'd much rather go with some friends. Who will I invite then? How about me? Oh, oh, that's a cute portrait. Okay, then I'll be waiting in the Alv Alvarna Academy. Oh, hey, Cece. Today's the flower festival. Are you going with anyone, Frongu? Okay, gonna watch her teleport below me. She had to sneak around the bottom of the map. Frongu! Sorry I'm late. No, it's alright. Let's get going. I'm just a womanizer. Taking all the girls out on dates. I want to just jump right into all those branches drooping with flowers. Ha, huh, Frongu, you say weird things sometimes, you know that? But don't you think it would be all fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, I guess it would. Definitely fluffy. Alright, someday I'm hoping to dive right into all that fluffiness. That is true, fluffy things are comfy. Like, you kind of want to dive right into a fluffy thing, but I don't think the branches would be fluffy. I think just the pet petals would be. I think you would get hurt that way, Frongu. Uh-huh, sounds fun. Let me go with you when you do. Of course, thanks. Thank you- uh, Thank you for inviting me to join you out there, Frongu. I feel like I'm getting to know you better. Did you have fun? Yes, I did. Bye. <laughs> God, I love how they just leave right away. Morning. Morning, Frongu. Today's the flower festival. You like cherry blossoms, Frongu? Yes. They're cool. I think everything's, like, closed. Then again, it is, um, before 9 a.m. It was fun. Well, bye. I don't, I don't want to have anything else to do with you. Have you seen the cherry blossoms yet? Yes, I have. They're fucking everywhere. They're getting in my underwear. Good morning. Morning, Frongu. Hey, dude. Huh? Wait, this is a bug. He, he's calling me dude, but I'm Frongu. Hey, dude, it's the flower festival today. T lots of lovely flowers, the pride of our town, for all to see. Please enjoy them, too. This game is so buggy. There's absolutely nothing like eating eggplant while looking at the cherry blossoms. Morning. He knows. He knows it's us behind the screen. Frongu, is there someone you're going to ask out? Hey, Tanya. Morning. It's the flower festival today. To be honest, I'd rather have a nice drink and check out some new swords, but that's just me, I guess. I feel you. Morning. Hey, dude. Wink wonk. I know it's you in there. It's one of the best opportunities to broaden your circle of friends. 
Oh, so he's seeing the flower festival as like a networking op opportunity. <laughs> I don't know, guys. You like cherry blossoms, Frongu? Your dad liked them. Morning. Morning, Frongu. Hey, Frongu. Today's the flower festival. I get to drink and party all day. I don't think a priest should be saying that, dude. Do you have a favorite flower? Um, I think I remember being asked if I had a flav favorite flower before by someone, not necessarily on stream. I like, um, poppies. Poppies? That's what they're called, right? They kind of, they're kind of like white and then they have like the, the little ring of color on the inside. Morning, Frongu. Today's the flower festival. Can't say I have much interest in staring at a bunch of flowers. Hey. Morning. Today's the fire festival, Frongu. The cherry blossoms are so beautiful, don't you think so? Yes, I think so too. I really love it. By the way, you want to go with me? I think Alvarna Academy is a good spot. Sure. No Sh problem. Sure, no problem. Yes, yeah, okay, Frongu. Well then, you go ahead to Alvarna Academy and I'll be right there. I think there's someone over here that we miss. Good morning. <clears throat> but it's also kind of weird that we ask uh, Cami out because she's like eight years older than us. Also, why is Mana like over here? She's kind of like away from all of them. That seems kind of lonely. Is it because she's not married? The ambitious little scamp. He's like, what, eight? And she's, if we assume like she's like a kid when he's born, she's like fucking 16 or something. We're supposed to meet here. Or maybe younger than that. Because, like, she could have been, like, seven or six or something. But I don't know. With her portrait, she doesn't really look seven or six. Or even eight, really. Hey, Frongu, did I make you wait? No, I just got here, too. That's good. Let's go over to the tree. It's pretty. Yeah, it's very pretty. You'll get yelled at if you try to climb it today. I know, I know, but the same goes for you too, Frongu. I'm not gonna climb it either. Besides, we can do that anytime. Today, we should just have fun like everyone else. Yeah. Sometimes, it's nice to just look at the cherry blossoms, the two of us. Yeah, it is. Thank you for asking me to come out here, Frongu. It was fun, but I'd better get home. Yeah, it was fun. If there's anything else going on, you should invite me, okay? Bye, Frongu. I will, Cammy. See you later. At least they fucking said bye to each other before she left. <clears throat> okay, and that's all we gotta see for the flower festival, because I think those are all the girls we can ask out. Thankfully, we can ask them all out. No one will get mad at us if we ask out everyone. But, um, I, I took a request that requires us to go into this area and fish a salmon. So we're gonna do that. But I noticed that there's a uh, cutscene here. So I wanted to like save that for screen. Er, for, <laughs> for scream. For stream. Hey, Frongu. <clears throat> Cause it's kind of like story related a little bit. It's kind of story related. Hey guys. It's pretty dangerous in here, Frongu. Are you sure it's okay for you to be in here? Do you like danger, Frongu? You seem to like danger, Frongu. Cammy, you said you keep this a secret. Hey, I didn't tell any of the teachers. Yeah, don't worry, we haven't said a thing. But, you guys... There's no need to waste time pointing fingers anyway, is there? Plus, the more of us that know, the more people who can help you out if anything happens. Well, keep it a secret from everyone's parents, okay? So apparently all the kids in, like, the neighborhood know that I'm going out and, like, defeating monsters and, like, putting myself in danger. But none of the adults know. Oh no! 
I hope you have water with you, Cabal. I hope it's not too bad. We will. Promise. Okay, let's tackle Machina Valley together then. I'm sorry, I have to go alone. It really is too dangerous. But you fought alone before, with more people. It'll be safer, right? Hmm, I don't think so. I can't really explain it. But I feel like, I don't know, like fighting comes naturally to me. What are you talking about? Talent, that's what. Dude was pretty strong too, now that I think about it. My dad was strong? Yeah, he didn't look tough at all, but when it came down to it, he could surprise you. Dad. You really do take after your father, don't you, Frangu? I guess I do. Come on then, Roy. We're only going to get in the way here. Let's head back. All right, but you be careful out there, Frangu, okay? You can always run away if things get too dangerous. Yeah, I know. Thank you. And they just kind of like head off. I don't know where the fuck Orland's sprite was. Like, he, he was talking, but I couldn't see him on the screen. Got it mostly clear. Thankfully, water was had. That's good. I'm glad. But now we're just going to spend a while um, trying to fish up a salmon. And then there's another thing we got to do in the spring dungeon. Because uh, if y'all remember, like, the stone things that were blocking our paths in various places, one of them requires us to defeat a monster that only appears at night. So we have to wait until, like, I think 5 or 6 p.m.? Which takes a while, so we're just gonna spend our time fishing until then. Except I think we have crops to water in the spring dungeon too, so we should probably save some stamina for that. Fucking hell, just branches? Give me my salmon! We got a Masu trout. Masu, Masu. Masu, Masu. Yeah. So apparently you can find... Uh, salmon is like, kinda rare. And I looked online the various places where... Um, you could... Water, you could uh, catch them. So we're gonna try those out. Try out a bunch of places. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Even though I slept. Kind of slept in today, but that was like to catch up on sleep. And then I had a bunch of like tea. Tea has been um, a good source of caffeine for me. And like healthier than uh, energy drinks lately, so. Yay! Skill up from catching a branch. Um, I've just been drinking like black teas, Earl Grey, and maybe we should go to the other place. It's Earl Grey and PG Tips. That's what I've been drinking. And uh, Cabal mentioned that PG Tips is really strong, and you could like um. Steep it like twice, pretty much, and it would still keep its potency. So I've been doing that. I've been like saving the bag uh, so I could steep it twice and make two cups of tea. And that's been nice. Hey, Earl! How's it going? Actually, I might. One second. I'm gonna look up a guide because I think I have a Rune Factory guide still up. I'm gonna look up where to find salmon. Salmon. Salmon, salmon, salmon. Okay. The bridge to shrine does have salmon. Just wanted to make sure. But yeah, how's it going, Earl? I hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. Hello, my little vegetable friends. <laughs> If you could be a vegetable, what vegetable would you be? I would be... Potato. Potato's a vegetable, right? PG Tips is super tasty and strong. Yeah. It's like, higher caffeine and it's not as bad for me. 
I'm having a great day. I'm glad. What uh, what have you done today? Anything special happen, or is it just like a good day, good day at work, good day driving, stuff like that? Yes, we got salmon. Yes. A fucking spaghetti squash. Squash is pretty good. I, I like zucchini and squash. They're really good in the stir fry. Hey, Coro, how's it going? I would be a splish. I would be a splash. You would be um watermelon. Watermelon, big and round, and red on the inside, and very and full of piss. I would be a carrot. Carrots are good, and they're very healthy for you. And they're nice when they're baby. That would be funky. I hope you've uh, been having a good day so far, Coral. I appreciate you stopping by. I crashed at my GF's house the other night. Worked out and trained hella hard this morning. Now I'm just chilling at work. It's been real easy going. Nice! You got you got stuff down. You You got to spend time with your GF. You worked out, which is good for you. Sounds like you accomplished a lot. I'm glad you've been having a good day. Yes, yes, I'm glad. All right, let's let's fast forward this a little bit. I forget what it is. A tab. We're just gonna wait until like 6 p.m. because we gotta um defeat mushrooms around then. I really do like the. the <laughs> hey Nick, how's it going? I really do like the the mood of like the sped up music here. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day so far, Nick. <laughs> Okay. That should be good. Really tired, but good overall. How are you? I'm glad you're doing well. Sorry you're doing tired. Are you, are you still uh, uh, cutting back on caffeine, too? I'm doing well. Uh, today has been all right, but it's uh, definitely a lot better than it was earlier. Thank you for asking. Tiny Ant Band. Speedily hammering out melody at the speed of ant. Yes, ant speed, ant speed symphony. Okay, I think we gotta defeat. Yeah. I think these are tricky mushrooms. So, yeah. We have to defeat four of them, I think. Ah! Whoa! No, we're poisoned. Uh oh. Oh fuck, fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. Do we have antidote herb? Okay. <laughs> I will get to chat in a second. Oh. I defeated four tricky mushrooms. Nice. Okay. Hey, Zyzon, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I think I'll go the full month without caffeine if possible. And I had to be up early. Oh, yeah, you're driving to the office today. Uh, to do some work in the office, but finish now finishing the workday at home. Nice. I'm glad that you could um go back home halfway through the workday and finish it up there. That way you don't have to deal with like rush hour traffic on the way back. Because that always sucks. Okay, so I got all those mushrooms. Now let's water some plants. Oh yeah, we upgraded our, our, pot, our water pot. We now have a lion water pot. It looks very scrunkly. So it should be pretty easy. Oh my god, that woolly just <laughs> looked at me. I'm doing all right, kind of eepy though. I feel that. 
I feel that with the EP. I drank a bunch of tea, but I'm still EP. Okay, I think the statue is here. Shit! No! Have a headache, though, because the building's fire alarms went off while I was at the office. Had to wait for the fire department to stop by and make sure things were good before going back in. Oh, shit. It wasn't a drill or anything? Like, y'all had to... Well, I guess even if it was a drill, you would have to, like, evacuate and stuff. But that that sucks. Especially, like, if you're weaning off caffeine, I imagine you already have a headache. Because <laughs> that always happens to me when I wean off caffeine. I'm having some, uh, a boobly. Sparkling water. Lime boobly. Lime bubbly. I know it's pronounced bubbly, but... It's kind of, it's funny when you pronounce it boobly. I ate spicy ramen and partially breathed in the broth. Yeah, you, you were, you did not have a good time. I'm looking at getting a new chair. The one I have needs replaced. I also, also Trigger wants to yeet it because it makes so much noise when I turn in it. Oh, like, is he just, does the noise like great at him too? But I hope that you can find a, a new chair, a good new chair at a good price. Because chairs can be really fucking expensive. It's disappearing! Wow! So we got a- Ah! Shit. We got a green stone tablet fragment. Which we can see all the fragments here. So one, two, three, four, five. So we got all the fragments, and I think that if we bring the fragments to Barret, he'll be able to put it together into, like, the whole tablet or some shit. Because I, I, um, made another statue disappear because it, it wanted us to give it, like, 12 apples. So I gave it 12 apples because that was easy. And then we can move on to the summer dungeon. Wow! I coughed. I hacked. I fruit up! I called my mom. Oh, no, I really hope that you didn't fruit up. That's not nice, especially after you ate something, uh... Spicy. Throwing up after after eating something spicy is not fun. Yeah, that fucking chair of yours is loud as fuck. Oh shit, have you heard it? Squeaky oh metal on metal. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that either. I don't like metal on metal sounds. Spore Masu Trout. Okay, we caught a bunch of mouse Masu Trout. I think we need to give the salmon to Rosalind? Rosalind? Because she was the one who asked for it. Poor Apple. Damn, we have a lot of stuff in our pockets. How does this guy keep it all in there? I, ha I have. Every time... Zai turns it around. It sounds like 3,000 witches, witches are being boiled alive in oil. <laughs> That's funny. That reminds me, um, I've been continuing what we do in the shadows, like that TV show. Because I, I watched the movie when I, I was at Space Gang's house, and we started watching season one of the TV show. Uh, if y'all don't know what, what, what we do in the shadows is, it's basically kind of like documentary style awkward comedy with vampires so they like film like this group of vampires and basically all the shenanigans that they get up to as vampires and um there's one episode about witches it was very funny i don't know how far y'all have gotten in it uh cabal but would recommend i try very hard not to turn during my streams and i appreciate that But I, I imagine it's hard to avoid, especially if it's like a sensitive, a sensitive chair. Like, God damn it, you turned on me! Why are you doing that? I didn't ask for this. This isn't, this isn't part of my job description. Just screams. I 
I'm sure if I was a chair, I would do that. If you guys were a piece of furniture, what would you be? I would, um... Huh. I don't know what I would want to be. I guess maybe a lamp. Like a lamp on a side table or something. Living a nice, simple life. Turning on and off. Lighting things up. Maybe having a little blowout. A light bulb blow up out every one, now and then. Alright, we got that. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, now we have 32 feet, which is good. I'd be a writing desk? I see why. Is it because you like to write? What is happening to these animals? What are they doing? Okay. God, the frame rate is so fucking low. I'd be a sleeping bag. Let me sleep in a ball for years until you want to go hiking. Yes. <laughs> you get, you get, um... To be in the in the nice quiet closet, just you know, be left alone for a few years, get to be a little lazy until uh, they bring you out camping and you get covered in ticks. <laughs> but you only need you only need to do that like once every four years or something. Maybe an oven or similar. Sometimes I'll burn your food and sometimes I won't. Yeah, you gotta put uh, the food in like very specifically. <laughs> like you're a little bit hotter in the back. Party in the front, hot in the back. So I think we already have a pharmacy. 5,000, all right. I think we have all of the expansions to our workshop then. So we have a small kitchen, a large kitchen. I know we have a forge. Okay, we. <laughs> she's like, oh, you already have that, bitch. You already have that. Oh, no, no, don't brush. Don't brush the plants. Wrong thing. But yeah, I really like, like, side table lamps. They're nice and cute. Oh yeah, that reminds me, like, the, the whole, like, would you, like, what... If you were a blank, what would you be? Or like, would you rather a blank blank? I think, so, Di uh, Draken has been asking me these like weird ass ones um, lately. I can't remember all of them. But I think one of the ones that she asked me was, would you rather have um, one, what was it? Would you rather have one foot or five feet on each leg? <laughs> like one leg with one foot or five feet on each leg. What would you rather have? And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> this is like at night too, before we go to bed. And I'm like, what the fuck are you? Why are you asking this? Yeah, you make lots of tasty food if you're in an oven. One foot? But then you wouldn't be able to, you'd be hopping around. You, you wouldn't be able to have two legs. But maybe that's the fun of it. That, that's, that's part of the fun. You get to hop all over the place. Is it left? Is it a left foot, right foot, or center foot? That is a good question. She didn't specify. But I assume it's a center foot. You can have a prosthetic. That is true. You could just have like one foot with one leg. But the thing is, it's both your legs fusing into one foot. I think I asked her about that. So it's just like weird ass questions that don't have really a great answer. You can wear normal pants with one foot. That is true. 
You could wear normal pants with one foot, not the, not the, the like the ten feet thing. Go right. <laughs> I'm just like talking to Drake, and I'm like, why the fuck are you asking me this? And she's just smiling. We're just waiting for school to start. Hello there. I forgot the other sub that she's asked me, but maybe I can ask. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Like she asks, like she's. <laughs> oh shit, look at all the students. They're making there be like a slowdown on the screen. These be some silly questions. They do be. And like, you know that meme that was like when your girlfriend asked you if, she, if you would love her if she was a worm? Uh, Draken loves that meme. And she has asked me that question multiple times. And I'm like, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't love you if you were a worm. That's just weird. <laughs> and she's like, what? Why? And I'm like, yes, let's go fishing. <laughs> You're the first bait. <laughs> Far East Cuisine. Ooh, let's see. Okay, let me, let me... Here. Okay, so y'all can see her text instead of just the checkboxes. <laughs> She's gonna be the first one to go. And she was like, would you love me if I was, like, a baby? And I was like, no, that's fucking weird. I'm like, no, don't, like, I, like, I guess if you, if you're cute, I'd be like, oh, you're cute, but you're a fucking baby, and no. <laughs> Reincarnated beloved as fishing bait, love at first bite. <laughs> it's like that, um, that one game that we played, we love at first sight with the Cyclops thing. And yeah, she just asked me, like, some weird ass questions. Drake and why? Because she loves, like... She loves pulling my little nub. She loves making me go, Why the fuck are you saying that? And she's just like, Because I'm silly. A mixed herb. Mushroom rice. You know, I had a lot of uh, dishes with mushroom in it when I went over to Space Gang's house, and I appreciated that, because I remember before I used to be like skeeved out by mushrooms. And it wasn't this trip that, like, made me love them, but it was, like, I had them a lot more. Because I started being okay with it, like, a bit ago. Every so often. But mushrooms be good. And it's easy to cook mushrooms, too, because, like, you could just cook them in with nothing else, really, besides oil, and they taste good. Maybe some salt. A bit of seasoning. The anime where the gyno reincarnates as the idol's baby comes to mind. Yeah, Oshinoko. I've been, uh, me and Draken have been keeping up with it because she really likes how wacky it is. Um, and she wants to know what, what happens next. Like, she's like, what the fuck? This is so, <laughs> this is so fucking weird. I love it. All right. Let's get another lesson. Let's do... Breakfast? I like mushrooms. You ever had stuffed mushrooms? No, I haven't. Is it like with the... with the, um... So I've only really had like... Uh, what is it? Just sliced... Um... Bella mushrooms and stuff like that. Those kinds of mushrooms. But it's like, do you use like really big mushrooms for stuffed mushrooms? So corn. Corn and the corn flakes. Corn and milk. That's how you make corn flakes. <laughs> Just put a, a cup of corn in the milk. A butter roll. First you get butter, then a small egg. And then add some small milk. 
and add some flour. You take the stem out and stuff the inside and bake it. Ooh, that sounds good. Now I kind of want to look up stuffed mushrooms. I haven't cooked in a hot minute, but I want to like get back. Oh, I see. So it's like the underside that's stuffed. I want to get back into like, like making some easy, like small things. That does look good. Like I wanted to make some pasta. Um, what is it? Um, some baked potatoes. Some, um, maybe a stew or something. I don't know. I haven't really had made stew before, but is, is, isn't it just like boiling something for a long time? Ah. I'm putting on pants. <laughs> I haven't been wearing pants this entire time. But then again, Frobot doesn't... Well, you can't really see, but... Frobot doesn't really wear pants. Stuffed mushrooms are super easy. That's good to know. It might be uh, it might go on the list of things that I can I can cook. Raisin bread. First, you get grapes. Wine. And then bread. Stuffed mushrooms are so good. I assume you can stuff them with. With multiple types of things, what do y'all usually stuff it with? Okay, so that's it. That's done. Oh, have we talked to you? Mondays are always so languid. What does languid mean? I'm not sure, but I hear grown-ups use it sometimes. Yeah! <laughs> that's cute. Also, put potatoes... Oh, gratin are also delicious. Oh, yeah. I remember um, Coral made some for me at one point. Languid slow. Yeah, that makes sense. I could give you some recipes or easy things to cook if you want. I would appreciate that. I would very much appreciate that. It will help the little Franja learn how to cook more or encourage them to cook more. <laughs> Thank you, Cabal. Okay, first, I'm gonna see if we can upgrade... Let's see, what things do we need to upgrade? Slow and relaxed. Yeah, I don't mind. Eee. Okay, so we need to... Chopping axe. We need to upgrade our sickle. And our hoe. So let's... Because we still got a rusty sickle and a rusty hoe. <laughs> okay, so iron sickle. We just need three irons and a rusty sickle. And then... A sturdy hoe. We need two irons and a bronze and a rusty hoe. So we need five irons and one bronze. We got five in here. Let's see if our level is high enough. So y'all are looking at crafting in uh, in this game. This is how crafting works. <laughs> it's a uh, it's not the best iteration of crafting in this game in the series, but I've grown accustomed to it. Let's see. This one's for the sickle, I think. Three irons. A uh, 73% chance? Hell yeah. And then for the hoe... Just want to make work a bit easier for us. You can just put it in without selecting the recipe as well. Yay! Our skill level increased. Nice, because eventually we want to... So what I ended up doing in my save file is I ended up forging a lucky sword up to level 10. Because I think you need... 
there's like a recipe to make it and then there's a recipe to upgrade it so you just make it and then you upgrade it like until level 10 i think that's the max level lucky sword is a pretty high level recipe though so we'll have to um craft a lot to get up there let me see I don't know if we have the recipe for it yet. There's a smash blade. I had that at one point, I think. So we can try making a steel sword. Uh, two irons, one bronze, bronze, and a broadsword. Do we have a broadsword? Well, we have this, which is pretty good in itself. Yeah, this is a broadsword. I forget if we can buy a lucky sword. Let's see. I cooked potatoes au gratin from a recipe that Coral gave me, funnily enough. Oh, shit. Would I be able to have that recipe? I forget if Coral gave me a recipe for it, too, but I know that they boast of their, their potatoes au gratin. Ain't got a broadsword, only dude sword. <laughs> Any broads in here? Oh no, nah, only dudes. Especially in this iteration of my save file. Thank you! Okay, let's see what we can buy from you. So we can get... Yeah, there's a defender. I don't think there's any lucky sword, but... The defender is pretty good. But I don't really feel like spending money on it at the moment. How many fellas in chat versus how many ladies and babies? Um, I'm not sure, especially for people who lurk, but I am a... I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe. I guess a baby? Baby, by use he him. He they. Uh, Cabal is he him. Earl is he him. Morning. Uh, Zai is they them. Uh, Opa I use they them. A lot of a lot of babies in the chat. All right, Rosalind. I am coming up with a big salmon. I am slut the ch Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I don't actually mean that. <laughs> Indeed, many they. Oh, we got 10,000 G. Hell yeah. Yes, I'm feeling okay, Dr. Roy. The day the days are taken over. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, Sarah and Serena want to play hide and seek. So let's do that. Morning. I'm doing fine. Mm -ugh. I'm doing fine, Mom. I'm just risking my life out in the dungeons without you knowing. Morning. 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 Just doing our rounds, saying hi to everyone. They're they're gonna say the same Morning. stuff every time, but we gotta do this in order to raise their friendship level. She wants pizza. I sent you a recipe in DMs. Thank you, Cabal. I appreciate. Good morning. Okay, Orlin's upstairs. Let's say hi to him. Orlin, bro. Good morning. What do you want? There's nothing going on here. Nothing fun to see. Maybe if you went outside and touched some grass, there would be some fun things to see. Morning. 
Guaranteed to make you smile because it was initially typed by Koro. Oh, does it have like the Koro flare? The Koro flare when they're like typing stuff to you? Yep. <laughs> I think I remember I saved a recipe that they, they gave me for like a cabbage um, type thing. Okay, we can expand this school by making a dojo. How much is it? 10,000 G. Yeah, we have that. Hell yeah. And with that, we'll have expanded uh, everything. You won't need to build anything else, except for maybe like a bigger barn. Oh, wait. Here. Looks like we have all the pieces of the tablet now. We have all the pieces, but what do we do with it? I guess we don't put it together, I, I guess. I forget exactly how we move forward in that aspect. Believe me, you'll know. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. I We took that... Um, quest from Saren Serena. Let's let's ask them about it. I almost forgot. I was like, okay, let's take this quest. What? Oh, shit. Never mind. Let's play hide and seek, Frongu. Yeah, let's play. Sure. We'll go hide as soon as you can't see us. Good luck finding us. Ready? Go. Um... Um... I guess go to a different map, and then they'll hide. Oh, where the fuck are they? Where are we? Oh shit, they actually hid. Um, I forget how to do this quest. I forget if you actually see their sprites on the map, or if you have to interact with everything in order to find them. Let's try, um, checking at their house, and if they're not there, I'll just look up where they are. Sarah Serena! I don't like your shit! I don't like the shit you're pulling! Can you, like, ask people where they've seen them? This is their bedroom. You want to hang out with your mom today? No, she doesn't take care of me. But, uh, let's see. Sarah Serena. Uh, they'll just keep moving to different spots. So to remove all doubts, just cheat and ask Alicia to find them. <laughs> okay, so... There isn't a set place that they go to. So the guide says cheat and ask Alicia where they are. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I just gotta ask your mum. Mum, where are my friends? You don't got any. Location reading. Someone just fucking crashed on the stairs or some shit. In my house. Uh, Sarah is in Alvarna North Square. Serena is in Alvarna North Square. Okay. I think it's up here. Yes. There. Oh, okay. They're on the map. Ah, we've been found. You found us. You could have hidden in different spots. I mean, there are two of you. No way. We're inseparable. I see. That was fun. We should play again sometime. Yeah, let's play again sometime. Oh, here, why don't you take this? You got marmalade. I love marmalade. I love it too. Try it, Frangu. Just, just eat the marmalade straight. Okay, next request. Oh, Sarah and Serena want someone to play with them. 
Um, I would like to have a conversation with someone, and then there's a- Oh, shit! We got a lot more requests. I rem This was like the la last request in the list before, but now we have three more down here. I love marmalade, honestly. I don't think I've had it. Or at least, I don't think I've known when I've had it. Like, if it's been put on a dish or something, I guess I've had it, but... Is it just, like, really good butter? Let's see. This one was here first, so I'm gonna do this one. A quest for dinner. I think Herman's uh, dinner quests can get kind of hard because he asks for stuff that require like a high cooking level. So let's see how hard this one is. Well now, if it isn't Frongu. You saw my request on the bulletin board, correct? Let's get right to it then. I am missing a dish essential in any proper De Saint Coquille family dinner. I want fried love love snapper. I'll give you 15k for it. Oh my god. Wait, how, what level do you need to make that? Marmalade is like a jam, but it has fruit peel in it. Oh, okay, so it's fruity. I might have had it before then. Uh, so we have a frying pan. Okay, we do not know the recipe yet. But I think it just requires Love Snapper. Let me see. Oh my god. <laughs> Fried Lover Snapper is really hard to get. It's- you- it requires level 71 cooking level? It requires 71 cooking level. I am not making that. I think, so there was one of Herman's uh, quests that I never did. And I think this is the one that I never did, even on my original file. Cause I was like, what the fuck, man? I'm not gonna grind out levels in cooking just to do that. Cause grinding out levels in, um, in crafting in this game is a huge pain in the ass. Okay, Leanne wants someone to talk to. Leanne, I'm coming for you! Hello, Frongu! I saw the bulletin board. What do you want to talk about? I can lend you an ear if you'd like. Thank you, Frongu. I'd like to talk to you about a problem I'm having. Okay, but what kind of problems could you possibly have, Leanne? Bro! <laughs> she could have lots of problems! My sewing grades aren't really all that good. Do you have any tips for how I could improve them, Frongu? Wait, I thought your grades were some of the best in the class. Well, most of them are, but I'm having a lot of trouble with sewing. I see, well, that just makes me think this all the more. You do study very hard, Leanne, but sometimes I think you push yourself too hard. I think you should relax, unwind a little, and not make yourself so tense when you sew. Relax? That's right, I think you're so tense that it's carried over to your sewing. Yes, you might be right. That could be it, Frongu. It is, I'm sure. Okay, I'll try relaxing the next time I sew. Thank you, Frongu. I'll be sure to follow your advice. I'm glad I could help you. Please then, take this as a thank you. Oh, I couldn't possibly. Oh, okay. See you later. Huh? Wait, what? Did we just, like, turn down a gift that she was gonna give us, and then, like, she was like, Oh, okay, I'm not gonna give it to you anymore? Thank you, Frongu. Leanne slipped 2,000 into your pocket! Holy shit! <laughs> Is she paying for, like, like advice? Is this an advice payment? 2,000? Holy shit! Now, here, here's, a, here's a penny for your thoughts. A dime- a nickel for your troubles. Dime for your troubles. Slips you fucking two hundred dollars. Or maybe it's more like twenty, but still. Okay, let's play with Sarah and Serena again. 
Mwah, mwah, mwah. We're just gonna kill some time until the next lesson starts at 12, which it's around 11 a.m. right now in the game. Oh, where's everyone? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? And Cammy, why are you still here? Huh? Wait, where are they? My friends aren't at school anymore. Maybe they're at home? No? Okay, Mom. I need you to find my friends again. <laughs> Mommy! Okay, I'll give you a location reading. Jami Lala! Wal ha ha! Serena is in far off city and Serena. What? Alvarna is in North Square, no doubt about it. What does far off city mean? Is she fucking gone? Sarah is in far off city and Serena is in North Square? What? Oh no! What happened? I was playing hide and seek with Sarah, but I can't find her. She's in a fucking different city. <laughs> we usually just hide together, but this time we were only playing with the two of us. That's not good. You better find her soon. Please help me. I'm sure she'll come home when it gets dark, but I'm worried. Please help me find her. Um, damn. I hope she's okay. <laughs> when when you and your sister are playing hide and seek and one of them just gets fucking lost forever. Okay, I'm gonna ask for their location again. Hopefully that works. Holy hala, jamilala, wal ha ha. Bless you, Island Sandy Path. Okay. So I guess she went to the island or something. Ah, oh, crap. Hey, Grudge, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. How's everything here? It's going pretty well. How are you doing? Thank you for your fart as always. Let's see, where should we go? Is it Sandy Sandy Path? A summer fruit. It's thorny and difficult to hold. Bring me six of them. But I only take them at night. Okay, so we need to make six. Si Hello! Hey, Owlin! How's it going? Six spiky summer... Oh, sorry, I'm bumping the mic. Fruit. At night. I'm doing super well. I'm glad you're doing well. And how are you doing, Owlin? It's nice to see you. Always nice to see all of y'all. <laughs> only at night so I think it's asking me to grow pineapples I think and apparently one of our friends is stranded at one of the parts of this dungeon sandy path I think this is where she is ah! I'm well thanks hope you're well too I'm glad you're doing well and yeah I'm doing pretty well so far How's RF going? It's going pretty well. I'm glad that we're, uh, we started playing it again because it's been like a hot minute since we played it. I think it's been like a month or a month and a half or so. But uh, yes, pineapple growing does sound delicious. Hey, BP. 
How's it going? Nice seeing you. Pineapples grow at night? No, they, they grow during the day, but the statue was like, give me six pineapples, but I'll only take them if you give them to me at night, because it's picky like that. But yeah, I think it's asking us to grow pineapples, or there might- I think there's like a steel plant that has little spikes on it. Um, which might also be what it's asking us to grow, but I'm not quite sure. I'll have to double check if the steel plant can be grown in summer. But uh, oh Frongu, I'm so glad you found me. We were playing hide and seek and I got lost. I took a boat to a strange island and got past all the monsters and now I'm stuck here. <laughs> Sarah, how the fuck did you get here? I'm glad I found you too. Serena's worried about you. You're not injured, are you? I'm fine. In fact, seeing you cheered me up. I'm okay now. Thank you. She fucking walks through the monster. Oh my fucking god. Oh, these guys are strong. Ooh. I'm gonna explore a little bit more, though. Ah! Okay, if we go up there, there's a boss. Okay, there's a statue here, too. A quiz of four questions. Answer all correctly and you'll win a stone tablet. Question one. What's the name of the event in the fourth week of summer? Dance festival, harvest festival, flower festival, fishing contest. I think it's the fishing contest, because that's what we did. Huh. At least we can keep taking it over and over. It's like, it's like work training. Online training. You just keep taking the work quiz over and over and over until you pass the training. Plot twist, the monsters are only in your head. There's like a, a chip planted in your brain that makes you see monsters. And, and, and makes them like... Makes you take pain from them. Okay, what is the name of the event on the fourth week of summer? Um... Dance festival? Okay, the event in the fourth week of summer is the dance festival. Now, next question. This one is easy. Which of these cannot be grown in the summer? Um, eggplant? Uh, I hate it when a, a, uh, a statue is being sassy to me. Why is it so sassy? Which of these cannot be grown in the summer? I don't know. Tomato, corn, eggplant, onion? Okay. They can only be grown in the spring. Now next question. Fireflies can be seen in summer. What time at night do they normally come out? 6 p.m. <sighs> it's the plot of a game. Then you see a monster because of your brain. I can't remember the name. Oh, really? It's the actual plot of a game? Like, you, you only see the monsters because of, of something with your brain? Is it, um, is it a visual novel? Or is it like a game that has actual gameplay? Uh, 10 p.m.? Okay. They start to appear at 10 p.m. Now next question. Two monsters can be found at Blessia Island Clifftop during the day. They're Flower Lion and... Ugh. Okay, I have no idea for this one. It's a FPS, but a very early one. It's very painful to play. <laughs> yeah, I can I can imagine that for early FPSs. A flower lion. Let me see. Goblin Dawn. Thank you. Thank you, guide. Good job, take this. Fades into <laughs> nothingness. Like physical pain inducing? Does it have like do you do you get like motion sick or something? Ha, that was easy. Uh-uh. Okay, then we got a cave in here. Another statue. Till all of the fields at Blessia Island Southeast Beach. Okay. Till all 
southeast beach. All of them? No, it's not. It's not a lot. You little baby. Uh, go to Blessia Island, North Beach, and defeat three Death Stalkers. They can be found there at night. Okay, I don't want to do that. I think they're scary. Very, very poor sound design and UI design. Oh, like oh, I think I get what you what you mean. Like it's just very painful to to have to go through it because. You're like, I don't want to do this anymore. This is torture. Okay, we got stuff here. So this is South Beach. Um, this is Southeast Beach. So we want to till all these fields. Uh, we need a neutralizer first. I think we need a... Because that purple thing over there, that's a poison spot. You can't till that until you put neutralizer on it. Let's see, do we have anything in here? Like, the game is uh, screaming in your ears with dog whistles and shit. Formula A. Like, I, I get what you mean. Like... I've definitely played my share of games that are just kind of like, whether they mean to or not, just causing you physical pain by listening to it and looking at it. Uh, a majority of them being you my Nikki. You my Nikki fan games. <laughs> just cause like people, um, either do it on purpose or like, they just, yeah. Okay, these are just all cooking things. I think we can get a neutralizer from the doctor. Uh, I think this? Neutral agent. So let's buy two of them. Just in case we need another one later. Oh look at that marmalade! It's a cute little sprite. Like, have y'all ever played a game that just made you feel sick or, like, in pain? Um, I don't think- oh, here. They're- they're here. Um, I don't think I've really played a game like that. I've played games where I felt motion sick. Because of FOV stuff or, like, virtual reality and stuff. But not really in pain. Maybe, like, really irritated. It's kind of complicated. The game was not presented as a game, but as a <laughs> virtual cinema experience? What does that even mean? Like, it was a game, right? So, did they try to present it as something more than a game? Like, it's fancier than a game? Quantum Gate the Game. Is, is that what it was? It was in the 90s. Huh. I'm looking at it now. Holy shit! There is a lot going on here. It looks really trippy. A lot of bright colors that kind of like hurt your eyes. I kind of like that aesthetic though. Like, like like really bright colors, kind of messy, you know. Thanks for finding Sarah. I was so happy when you came to find me. You're always so helpful, Farangu. You are. Here, take this, I made it myself. Hey, give me one too. You got a chocolate cookie. Oh, nice. Thanks again. Thank you. Okay. I got a little chocolate cookie from them. Can we do anything here? Okay, we just got that. Maybe to do another training thing from Tanya. And then let's do the, the field tilling thing here. 
doing all these little things. It's it's kind of interesting going back and redoing all these things for, that I did like years and years and years ago in this game. Because um, I remember I had raided Captain Cube after playing this game and he's, he talked a bit about Rune Factory 2 and he was like, so you know how all the statues are like, okay, do this and then I, I'll give you like an item or something. Like, plant this crop. Give me this crop. D defeat these monsters. Till all the fields. I remember uh, Cube said that he didn't really like that because it was like a fucking like checklist of things that you needed to do and it like it was just kind of annoying, which I agree. If you didn't know what to do, it, it could really halt your progress in the game. Especially if you're like a kid and you're like, well, how the fuck do I do that? Because some of the, the things are kind of obtuse. Though this game still has a special place in my heart because it was my first Rune Factory game. Uh, use. Okay. Gotta make sure I did that correctly. Uh, the PLTO is, you're a soldier. You have to um, kill an alien and at the end you die and the helmet you have to increase your combat skills lets you choose a death according to a religion, but it, it doesn't work. So you throw the helmet and hold on a plot twist. Oh, the plot. Uh, plot twist, the enemies were angels from the start. Oh la la. That actually sounds really wacky. That sounds like it would piss a lot of people off. Which I assume it did. And that sounds actually kind of funny. Ah! I feel like Draken would like that. Because Draken, if y'all know Draken Guard. Do y'all know Draken Guard? Like. Ah! Ah! Stop me! Stop bullying me! Okay. All done. But uh, Draken Guard, it's like. Uh, Draken's favorite game. Because she she loved how off the rails the story went. And also the dragon parts, she said, were really fun. I really like the lore in it. Yeah, for, from what I heard, the lore is really interesting. It's just the way it's presented can be a turnoff uh, to some people. Especially like the clunky battle, and, uh, clunky ground battle and stuff like that. Yeah, Dragon Guard is a cool game, but uh, the non-dragon parts are just okay from what I remember. Yeah. Uh, one way, one way game, but clearly not. But clearly said are not fun. Ah, okay. Like it's a game, but it's not fun. The the quantum. Ah, whoa, whoa! I forget what it was called. Quantum gate. I I did kick them in the bread basket. Are you proud of me? I kicked those monsters right in the bread basket. The lore was bananas from what I remember. Yeah, she really liked how, how bananas the lore was. Um, and I played Draken Guard 3. I'm trying to gather the courage to defeat the final boss. Because <laughs> I'm like at the final boss. I have been at the final boss for years now. But... I enjoy I enjoyed the lore in Dragon Guard 3. And apparently the lore in Dragon Guard 1 is even more bananas, but like it's playing the game. <laughs> I I got to play the game first. Um Oh wait, it's not this one. This statue up here is what we got to talk to. It's disappearing. Whoa! Uh, the game presented itself as an elevated thing, like, oh, we're not simple developers. Our story is complicated and intricate. And just to throw, uh, the enemies you fought were the true good guys because you followed orders. I see. So they were trying to be kind of like... They're trying to like... Yeah, present themselves as like better than they were, I guess? Yeah. Snobbish? 
they were, they were being kind of snobby about it. Is that what you're trying to um, describe? I don't know if I have the right word here. It's hard for me to find words sometimes. But I think I get what you mean. It's like, we're better than the rest of you. Uh, I heard a bit of Drakengard, yeah! Um, and, well, Drakengard, well, Nier, if you've heard of Nier, is kind of- is it a spin-off of Drakengard? I don't, it's connected to Drakengard through its plot. Um, and then Nier Automana is connected to Nier through its plot. So it's kind of like a Persona SMT situation, except Persona isn't really connected to- I don't know, the lore is kind of deep. And they might be connected, Persona, the Persona universe's storylines and the SMT storylines, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, we have in French the expression pet plus how how que sont cool. Or translated farts higher than their asses. <laughs> Farts higher than their asses for describing someone snobbish. I love that saying. You're farting higher than your ass right now. <laughs> You're being a little stinky. Oh shit. Ah! I can't read this part yet. I wonder why. Okay. No, 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 don't, don't attack with your hoe, my son. Ah! Oh, 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 oh god, that really hurt. Oh my god, out of there. I am out of there. Did y'all, did y'all hear that sound? That was just like, oh my god. I love the expression, it's so fun. It is fun. I like that expression. Let's see if we can chop some wood. Okay, I think it looks good. We can sell some stuff. Ah! I don't care about my ledger. I really love French expressions, they're whack. What are some other French expressions that, that you like that are kind of funny? Yeah, we have a bunch of stuff here. Oh shit! I just realized that we, we skipped the second half of school. I remember we were waiting for school for it to be a, like, um, 12. So we could learn lessons from Barrett. But I forgot about that. Oh. Teacher? Is it too is it not too late to go to school? Oh! Time to start we can still take lessons! Lessons at fucking 5 p.m. Hey Cube, how's it going? Welcome on in. Okay, let's spear basics, scrolls of power. I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, I think we've already have we learned this yet? We've already learned this. Uh oh, I hate how like sometimes the recipes that you've already learned like come back and you have to learn them again. Uh, when it's raining as hell, you can say it rains ropes or it rains as a cow who piss. <laughs> It's kind of like, um, it's raining cats and dogs, except, uh, piss here. Need one more bronze, plus a little iron, okay. Like, I think... <sighs> What's that one saying that's, like, kind of icky about, like, God, like, beating his wife or something for when it's storming. Like when it's thundering and stuff? It's like, oh, it's like God's beating his wife or something. Or 
rusty axe. Isn't isn't that a saying? Did I just say something really weird? Let's see. Yeah, it's a, in southern United States, a sun shower. Oh, okay, it's a sudden a sun shower. So when it's raining while the sun is out, it's oh, it's the devil is beating his wife. It's the devil is beating his wife, and when it's raining during when it's sunny out. Yeah. Okay, more bronze. Iron. And one more iron. So we already know the rusty sickle. It's three irons. I've never heard of that. I I heard of it in various places. I don't know where I heard of it. Time to start class. Time to start class. So for a golden hammer, we need a silver hammer, and silver, and silver, and then gold, and more gold, and we'll need another gold. <laughs> There's a lot of precious metals here. We learn in here? Yeah, what are some other, like, weird sayings? Um... Yeah, weird southern sayings. I'm looking that up now. Y'all, why is there- I'm looking up, f like, funny southern sayings, and one of them is just y'all. Like, saying y'all. I say y'all. Those pants were so tight, I could see her religion. What? What kind of saying is this? Country living? What are you teaching us? Okay, another gold. Last comes another gold, okay. Super sickle! We're gonna make a super sickle. I love the name of that. More gold. Okay. Yeah, those are all the lessons for today. Thank you, Barrett, for teaching me after hours. Oh, yeah, we need to talk to Tanya about um, our quest. I'm so constipated. Let me fart, please. <laughs> I wonder what the context for that was. Thank you for the head pat and the wellness pack. All right. Let's set up straight stretch. Ooh water and i i think i might go to the bathroom too i need to go to the bathroom i think it has something to do with my roundness <laughs> like there's no extra way for my if if there's like a uh, poop blocking my my hole i cannot fart it's just it's just French anatomy but yeah, I will, um, BRB. I need to go to the bathroom. Take a little break. Um, if y'all need to take a break too, feel free to do so. I'll be a few minutes. Feel free to stand up, walk around, get a snack. Piss a little. Thank you! I'll BRB. Ba -ba -ba -ba.
I am back. I am back, back. I also got a little snack. I had some, um, Trader Joe's has these jerk style plantain chips and they're so good. They're so, so good. They're addicting. Thank you for the welcome back. I hope y'all had a good break too. Let's see. Oh, Graz, you posted, uh, we have an expression in common, but with the twist between the French and the British. In French, we have fleeing like a Brit, and in English, they have <laughs> fleeing like a, like the French. I think I've heard, um, I heard that saying, like, f fleeing like a French, like, like the French. Um, but it's funny that each of you guys have, like, you don't your own version of the saying because I assume each of y'all are like talking about the other person like huh, like that guy he's like fleeing like the English that's funny <laughs> let's see you ah! I accidentally minimized this window let's see we're gonna talk to Tanya right I've got a trial for you again today this time out your target is a leaf ball can you defeat ten of them for me um, close combat, okay. But where are the leaf balls? Who are they? Who are these mysterious leaf balls? They sound so cute. I don't know if I want to kill them. But then again, I did kill those apple things, so... I guess I don't really have any right to say anything. Okay, let's store these. Here and this. It's probably better to store it in our larger shelf in the school, but I don't feel like going back there right now. Okay, so we did... I'm looking at my notes right now. We tilled all of the fields, and now we need to plant spiky summer fruit. During history, French and the Brit had two or three wars. Thirty-one. <laughs> yeah, I, I. It's like a common common knowledge that that like the the British and the French just fought a shit ton. Like they did not like each other. But uh, I kind of. So I do want to play more of this, but now I kind of want to like look up funny sayings with y'all. Like, let me see. And some, um, and some have, have, um, I'm trying to figure out what word you're trying to use. Lasted, and some have lasted some months, more than a hundred years. Yeah, like the hundred year war. Just a fucking long ass war. No problem! But like, what's this? Um, let's see, I'm not gonna get doxxed on this website, am I? So, 30 hilarious southern sayings. Here. This was the page I was looking up. 30 hilarious southern sayings that are sure to impress the locals. Travel, travel anywhere below the Mason-Dixon line and you're bound to hear a friendly y'all, a cheeky bless your heart, or any of these other classic southern saying, sayings. Are, I, are any of y'all from the south? Or like south-ish? Um... I guess I, I know people from the south, so that's where I've like picked up y'all and stuff like that, but I am not from the south. So so maybe y'all can vouch for some of these. I don't know how how accurate some of these are. What is this? She's from the south? Okay. She's pitching a hissy fit with the tail on it. What does that mean? Like she's just really angry? Uh Worthless as gum on a boot heel. Y'all. <laughs> this is the one that was all like, this is just y'all. That's not a fucking saying. 
pitching a hissy fit is legit. Yeah, like, I know, like, like she's pitching a hissy fit. I've heard that before. Yeah, just, y'all. <laughs> Gum on a boot heel is correct. Okay, okay. I've been running all over Hell's Half Acre. Like, I guess I've been running all over the place. Uh, hissy fit with a tail sounds like a rattlesnake. It does! Better than getting cornholed by a billy goat. <laughs> I wonder if that's an actual one. Uh, you all contracts into y'all. Yeah, I, I know that. I just find it funny that they just put it... Like, this is supposed to be sayings, right? I just found it funny that they just put one word as the saying. Um, okay, correct, Hell's Half Acre. Uh, she has her nose so high in the air she could drown in a rainstorm. Yeah, the funniest one there is just y'all <laughs> getting images, y'all. I do like the pattern behind it. That is legit? Damn. So these are actually, actually legit? I've never heard some of these. Better off playing checkers, checkers on a leopard's ass. Is that legit too? Nose so high, she drowned in a rainstorm. About as useless as a screen door on a submarine. Damn, you're coming up with good ones too. Uh, he's so cheap, he wouldn't give a nickel to see Jesus riding a bicycle. What the fuck? <laughs> these are funny. I've heard all of them except the checkers one. Not not heard that. Okay. Yeah, the flower, the white transparency, uh, the big y'all, all the images screaming fun. Yeah, it, it's just, it's like very... It's a big mood. It's a big funny mood. This one you ha haven't heard? I, I haven't heard this one either. Like, would you want to see Jesus riding a bicycle? She'd make a freight train take a dirt road. <laughs> what, the freight train would get out of the way? The freight train? Freight? Uh, I'm so poor, I can't afford to pay attention. I've, I've, heard, I've heard this one just in general before. Like, I, I don't got money, I can't afford to pay attention. <laughs> uh, those pants were so tight, I could see her religion. Damn, is this like a camel toe quote? <laughs> what the fuck is religion? Um, well, that just dills my pickle. Like, I guess it's like sours my mood. It dills my pickle. I don't, I don't know. That just dills my pickle. You've heard the pickle one? What is the pickle one supposed to mean? Well, that just dills my pickle. Bless your heart. Yeah, this one's pretty southern. Uh, it's interchangeable with good or bad. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, that's sick. Um, grinning like a possum eating a sweet tater. Damn, that just oozes southern. Like... Like possum, grinning, eating, tater. Steams my carrots, jazzes my apples, bakes my buns, butters my buns. I heard but butters my buns before. Uh, who licked the red off your candy? What? Is who licked the red off your candy? Like who put you in a bad mood? Uh, she could start an argument in an empty house. This one's a good one. Yeah? <laughs> uh, the porch light's on, but no one's home. I don't know what this is supposed to mean. What, like, um... That one's legit, and so is that one. I'm glad that we have, like, a, like a, a, sub, a southerner here to... To vouch for the legitimacy of some of these sayings. Uh, wheel is turning, but the hamster is dead. Oh, like, like, um, blank eyed, like, this guy isn't thinking. Like, he's awake, but. 
he isn't thinking nothing. Um, someone's a moron. Okay. <laughs> head empty. Okay. Uh, blank guys. Head empty. Hot Wheels. <laughs> He's got a Hot Wheels uh racetrack. He hasn't got the sense God gave a goose. Is this one also just saying that someone's stupid too? He doesn't have the sense of a goose, even. Uh, kiss my go to hell. <laughs> kiss my go to hell. Uh, I was born at night, but not last night. Uh, he's about as sharp as a bowling bar ball, ball is my favorite, though Goose is legit. Yeah, like he's about as sharp as a bowling ball. Though I don't know if that's like specifically southern because I've heard that all over the place. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, I love this saying. Uh, well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I love this one. It's so cute. Um, when God made him, he forgot to put the coin. <laughs> the coin in him. <laughs> um, you don't watch out. I'm gonna cream your corn. This sounds kind of dirty, but I, I assume it's not. Uh, well, I'll be damned is what the butter biscuit thing is used in place of. Oh, like, oh, well, I'll be damned. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Uh, threat, threat to strike. Oh, really? Like, oh, threat to, like, like, fight someone? Or threat to strike as in work. Uh, working. Oh, beat up. I'll cream your corn. Oh, okay. Worthless as tits on a boar hog is one when my grandma was is one my grandma always used to say worthless is tits on a boar, <laughs> boar hog <laughs> that's funny um i'll knock you into the middle of next week looking both ways for sunday <laughs> this one's funny too um Oh, uh, I, I think I've heard this one before. Faster than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking competition. So, not very fast? <laughs> Boy, I whip your ass into next Tuesday, make you apologize for leaving. <laughs> um, we're off like a herd of turtles. I think I get that. Like, we're, we're off, but we're not really going fast. You've heard the one-legged man one? Yeah, I think I've heard, like, variants of that one. Uh, it happened faster than a knife fight in a fo phone booth. I think I've heard that one, too, but maybe in, like, a bar or something like that. Like, instead of phone booth, it was some- it was another place, they said. Uh, he's so ugly, he didn't get- What? He didn't get hit with the ugly stick, he got whopped with the whole forest. What the fuck? I don't get this one. Like he's just he's just really ugly. Apparently. I, I love I love like the, the flowers in the background too. <laughs> like the aesthetic, but with the words on it. Um I could eat the north end of a southbound polecat. So I could eat I could eat a horse? Is 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 that what it's supposed to mean? Like I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Um, we're about to have a come to Jesus meeting. Is this like a an intervention? Like we're about to have a come to Jesus meeting. You gotta see Jesus. We're almost done. We're almost done. Um, that sticks in your throat like a hair in a biscuit. So when something is really dry or something sticks in your throat, sticky. Uh, she's as nervous as a cat in a room full of rockers. Hotter than blue blazes. And sit on your biscuits. I love all the biscuit ones. 
all, all the biscuit ones, just immediately. Favorite. Favorite quote. Thank you for, for listening to, to this Frange talk. Southern Pride. All of these have been legit, honestly? Yeah. I guess it makes sense that Country Living would have le legit sayings. Thank you, Country Living. I have learned a lot today. And now back to the scheduled programming. <laughs> Although we may only play a, a bit of this. We'll see how I feel up to it. But... Oh, it's the it's the sale day today. The sale. Oh, onion! We got some onion. And then iron sickle. Whoa! Feel my wrath. Yeah. 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 Okay, I think we can plant some things. I think we have some seeds in here. Let me see. Okay, we have pink radish seeds. Or pink turnip. Toy herb seeds are also spring, so we can grow that later. Oh yeah, I also turned on, like, if y'all haven't noticed, there's like a blue square in front of me. And you can turn that on by pressing the select button. And I hadn't had it on for almost all of the playthrough so far, but I finally turned it on. Which is funny because I, I've had that thing on, like, I have that thing on all the time on my main file, I just never turned it on for this. But yeah, you, uh, do y'all know what we're going to be playing tomorrow? I'm honestly like pretty excited for tomorrow's stream. Which blue square? Oh, like the, um, like the outline. It's kind of like blue with white on the corners in front of uh, the character. And then it's like filled in with the orange. Yeah, Hotel Death Sequel! We're going to be playing that tomorrow. Um, we played Hotel Dusk, like, early last year, I believe. And I just never got around to playing the sequel. Oh, I was searching in the overlay. Oh, okay. Hey, Mom! Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it because I played a little bit of it. A long, long time ago, when I was interested in, like, trying to figure out what happened next. But... I kind of, like, never got past, like, the first five minutes. <laughs> Mostly because I could only play it on my ROM. I hadn't hacked my 3DS yet to play it there. And, um... It's... Entry number two in a three... In a three-game series, but the third game was never made. So I was just like, I just felt sad, and I was like, oh, if I'm never gonna get the third game anyway, what's the point of playing the second game and possibly being left on a cliffhanger? But I think, um, it would be nice to play it with y'all, especially since we played the first game together. And I think the experience of playing it with y'all will add more meaning to it for me. And also, honestly, I want more Hotel Dusk uh, content. Imagine if ZTD never got made. <laughs> I remember I mentioned it at the end of a uh, of last stream, but I'm glad ZTD got ma made. But it doesn't mean I like it. I'm glad for ex its existence. Um, but no, I I do not like the game. What did I do? What happened there? Imagine if we actually got an ending for ZTD. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't really a... 
a concrete ending there. Like, we were kind of, like, stuck in a limbo where, like, we we saved the world from the virus, but now, like, the world, now, like, humanity would go extinct because of, like, some terrorist attack or some shit that they were talking about. I don't even know what the heck was happening, but... Uh, the morphogenetic field would activate to bring it to reality. Yeah, just like, like, it's always gonna be a reality in every single timeline because it's gonna shift to every reality and it's gonna use that, like, fucking uh, transporter to, like, tran it transport itself to every reality. We won't be able to escape from it. Okay, where is my sword? My, s my wind sword. Okay, I think- is this the little flower? Okay, okay, so that's the flower. We just gotta defeat ten of them. But, um, I'm glad that you were at least there for the very ending garage. I remember you came a little bit later and missed some of the stuff. There's a lot of shit happening, but I'm glad that you at least, uh, saw the, <laughs> the grand finale. Bro, we haven't spoken of the morph genetic field. I forgot about the term. <laughs> Dude, the Z ZTD haunts me with the plot t twist. It is very infuriating. That was a really shitty plot twist. Like, it was so bad. I'm also glad I could see the end if it was like this. It was an adventure. Yeah, it really was like an adventure. Um, and I'm glad that I could at least experience the madness with y'all. Yay, we defeated all the target monsters. Let's go. Time to go to school. No one mentions him ever. How do they not wonder where he is when they all die together? Yeah, like... <sighs> like, they kind of portray him as being us. Like, we are seeing things from his point of view. But also, there are times when that doesn't make any sense. Well, I guess he can see all of the security camera stuff, so it's like, it is kind of like his point of view because he's watching everything from the security cameras. All right, let's begin the class. And not gonna lie, it was a very fun time to goof around with y'all on the plot, because damn, the plot was something. It really was something. Um, after I told Draken that we finished the um the game she was like okay now play the next game that the guy made like the writer or director and apparently he made punchline which is i think a visual novel and apparently it's pretty good like the stuff that he made afterward i've heard is pretty good um i just think that maybe like they went too long with zero time uh zero escape Uh, he doesn't see himself from the security camera? Bro, I don't even, like... <laughs> I don't get how they never address him. There's, like, one... There's, like, one part where you can address him, which is when, like, you ch you type in the name Delta when you're Q about to shoot someone, and so you shoot Delta, and it, like, kind of shows that. But, like, anytime else, they never acknowledge him. Writing about time travel is hard. It is. It's very easy to just, like, go ham with it. And, like, try to over-explain it, too. Because I think, like, with time travel, there's already a, a sense of 
um, that it's unrealistic. So, like, if you're not gonna make it hyper-realistic, might as well just, like, wave away some of the, the mechanics. Um, and not try to explain it with bullshit. Hey, Crow! How's it going? <laughs> I love your emotes. Caw, caw! I hope you're having a good day so far. Other than that, it's the non-ending that has me sad. Yeah, I think that's why I, I decided to, like, erase the game from my memory. I think it was the ending. Like, with everything on top of that. Because I was like, this is the last game. We're not going to get anything else. Like... Ooh, we're making hot chocolate! Small milk? That's a melted chocolate. Alright, let's begin the class. Uh, did they run out of budget to make an ending? Well... They probably had a hard time getting much budget to even make the game. <laughs> yeah, I think they ran out of ideas. Um, and they probably didn't have, like, the maybe all the talent that they needed. So put some bread in a toaster. Oh, these are pretty simple recipes. A rice ball? Take rice? <laughs> Just put, like before, take some rice. Uh, put a salted salmon in the center. A whole salmon. A whole salmon. Yeah, they ran out. They ran out of brain cells. Uh, yeah, and I think it's it's good that maybe they stopped there and focused on other things because, like, the guy's work after that ended up being pretty good, in my opinion. Well, I haven't finished Isomnium Files and I haven't played Punchline, but from Drake and I've heard that Punchline is good. I think. I might be talking out of my ass. Morning. Morning. Are they on the game list? Uh, no. Morning. Just because I kind of want to play AI Somnium Files on my own, and then Punchline hasn't really been on my game list even personally. I'm not super interested in it. Oh, look, we built the dojo! So this is where we can, like, train against monsters and stuff, but I've never really used it, even in my personal file. Good morning. Gotta say hi to everyone in town. Good morning. 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 Hello, Max. I miss how how funny Max used Morning. to be. Pre, I, I bring back funny Max, please. When he would talk about random stuff and ask me to take part in like experiments and stuff. Morning. Funny Max. <laughs> Funny Max. Like IMAX, but just Max. And also funny. Morning. Thankfully, um, all the people are kind of like around the same place most of the time. Which is nice. In uh in future Rune Factory games, they they kind of spend more time wandering around. Morning. Which um Given that we get, like, a map to track everyone's movements and stuff on the top of the screen is acceptable. Like, if we had to rely on Alicia's, like, predictions to try and track everyone in Rune Factory 3 or Rune Factory 4, that would be a pain in the ass, honestly. If y'all have ever played those games. People move around a lot in those games. Hello.
Hello, Tanya, I'm back. I defeated them, the monsters. Welcome back. A little tough this time, was it? Well, you won't improve by just taking the easy route. By then, right then, here's your reward. Got 800G. Uh, let me just slip in a plug for my shop. The weapons I sell change depending on the season. Spring is short swords, summer is long swords, fall is lances, winter is hammers. Well, that's it for the advertising. See you. Oh, I didn't realize that. But was I feel like she was selling all of those things at once earlier. Oh yeah. Let's maybe buy some seeds. Welcome, friend. For that quest in the summer dungeon. Oh, you said a prickly. Yeah, like it can either be this. Iron leaf seed or pineapple. Let me check. Yeah, okay, it's pineapples. So six pineapples. Let's get one seed and grow them. Trying to check and see where Yue is. Did we already talk to her today? Yue, where are you? Hmm. Okay, she might be by the sub summer dungeon, which is where we're going anyway, so. Leaf ball planchoa. Well, let's wait on some of these. Let's do this one for Julia. She wants some bath oils for some reason. Because she owns the bathhouse. Ah, you're here! Yep, what do you want me to do? Well, I want you to get some black grass for me. It's really good for your skin if you put it in the bath. But unfortunately, my supply just ran out. So, if it's not too much trouble, could you go and get some for me? No problem, I'll do it. Really? Thanks! Okay, so we gotta give her a black grass. Uh, I don't know if we have any in supply, but there might be some... in the summer dungeon? Also, I might stop playing this soon because my thumb is starting to achy, achy a bit more. Oh, you wait. There you are. Morning. Okay, she has no bargains today. Thank you, you wait. Oh, here it is. Wow. <laughs> oh, our plant pineapple. Now we planted seeds in three- in two dungeons? Two dungeons in our main, main uh, plot. Oh, Julia! I have black, black grass for you, wait. I already had black grass on me? I didn't have to go and get it? Apparently. Okay. Let's do one black grass, because if we give her one, it will give her the entire thing. Oh, you got it for me! Now I can put as much in my bath as I like. Thank you. Here's your reward. Got 400G. Cheapskate. <laughs> okay, let's get another one. Dorothy wants to deliver something to Julia. I think I might stop it here and my- Oh, hey, Dorothy. Actually, since they're right here... They're literally on the same map. I think I will <laughs> do the quest. No! No! I dropped it. I 
I smashed it right in front of her. She said, don't drop it, and I dropped it. Julia, just wait a second. Okay. Dorothy? Where are you? Dorothy? Sag, thank you, Saison. Dorothy, where... Where's Dorothy? Morning. Where are they? They disappeared! She teleported again. Oh, shit. I know they're here when the map slows down. Okay. That was a quick-ish um, quest. Would have been quicker if I didn't drop it. <laughs> okay, this one's from Cammy. But I think I'm gonna stop it here. We can go to school again, but yeah, my thumb's starting to act up. All right. Oh! Gotta stretch the hand a little bit. Oh, the nub. The sleeves. Okay, I think that's it for um, Rune Factory today. I'll be ending stream here. Thank y'all for spending time with me. Honestly, I could go for a little bit longer, but I don't know what I would do. Um, I'm not super tired yet. But I think I will end it. I need to rest my hand anyway. Um, just chatting. Yeah, but I don't know what I would chat about. I'm not like, uh, I guess I need to like switch my mindset a little bit, but. And I don't want to type too much because then that'll make my, my, th my hand act up. So I will just end it here. Thank y'all for spending time with me during the stream. Did <laughs> did y'all watch movies lately? Actually, I watched um, in uh, Across the Spider Verse. If y'all know that that new like animated Spider Man movie recently, and it, it's kind of been like just living rent free in my mind for the past few days. Thank you for streaming. It was super chill and fun. Thank you. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all, y'all being here and give and keeping me company and everything. Um, honestly, makes streaming worth it for me. It's really fun talking with y'all. I haven't seen, but I've heard about it. Yeah, the music is really good too. Give it a 19 out of 20. Honestly, I gave it a 10 out of 10. It, it was that good for me. But yeah, thank y'all for being here. I think I, I see some people that I could raid. Um, some nice friends. I I saw that. So Boomba is live right now. And he's playing Dragon Quest IX. Uh, or I think he's chatting a little bit at the beginning right now, but he's uh, starting his first like long RPG on stream today. So, uh, let's read him and wish him luck. Especially with a, a long, first long play on stream. That can definitely take a lot of, like, motivation to get through. Um, especially if you're prone to, like, switching games a lot. I, I kind of used to be like that. <laughs> but yeah, let's raid him. Uh, and for the raid messages, if you have my emotes, feel free to use this. And yep, if you don't have my emotes, feel free to use this message when we get on over. I think we raided him last time, but um, let's just raid him again. He's a cool guy. Thank y'all for being here and spending time with me. And I hope that y'all have a great rest of your night.
Great rest of your uh, Wednesday night. Thank y'all. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you for the head pat. <laughs> Alright, see ya! Bye-bye!